figuring it out. Hey, y'all should be glad you don't live in Australia. Oh, no, they got them shit. locked in their houses and they got police patrolling the streets. No shit. And if you get caught walking around, your ass goes to jail. And they're sending the kids oh. into stadiums yeah. to vaccinate them. Yeah, but all because a hundred people have been discovered to have COVID in that whole country. I don't know what it is about Australia, but they're scared to know, death of this Australia, shit. Australia, they have snakes and spiders yeah. and they can't stand up to a little uh, COVID. That's because they don't have guns. Yeah, they, they don't have guns. They don't have guns. The Australian people are tough people. Hey, that's a good point, too. The Taliban, when they took over in Afghanistan, right? What's the first thing they did? They went door to door and took everybody's guns from them. Hitler did that. Joe Biden wants to do that, too. Can't let that happen, ever. Yeah, so that's... That's, that's on the first page of the general's playbook. When you gotta leave a bunch of equipment in um, the enemy's territory, you bomb it, you blow it up, you don't give it to them. Like we did Vietnam. Yeah, we did that in Vietnam. Now what Trump said, Jeff? They did it exactly the wrong way. First you, evac first you evacuate the civilians. Yeah. Then you get the equipment out of there. Then you bomb the bases flat, flat, and then you remove the military. Well, according to Biden, you um, you pull all your military out and leave all the civilians. There you go. <laughs> this is our patriotic Vietnam vet. He's out here every Friday with us. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. So you were you're a Vietnam vet. You remember the images of Saigon when we were leaving? Yeah, 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 it was worse this time. Oh. It was worse. People were so desperate to get on the plane, they just latched onto the plane and yeah, fell yeah, from yeah. to their deaths. That wasn't even that bad in Saigon. No, no. No. no it was that, it was that. that would not happen. It would no. never happen. No. No. We need Trump back now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We need he's, Trump. He's all done Biden. Yeah. He's cooked. 25th Amendment, that dude. And then Kamala's going to be our president. That probably ain't no better. Yeah, yeah Biden, Biden decides to pull out of Iraq uh, the same day he goes on vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's weak. He's weak. He's weak. Yeah. Yeah. He wants a nursing home, yes. Yes, he does. He's got dementia. Yeah. How are we going to survive three and a half more years of this crap? We can't, can we? No, no, we can't, no. Out and how it comes in, even worse. Yeah, this might be the end times, guys. Uh -oh. right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if Joe Biden can't get every American out of Afghanistan, he should be impeached. Don't you think? He should be impeached anyhow. Yeah, for getting us in this mess. Yeah, and the prices of gas. Yeah, have you been to the store lately? Yeah. Everything's doubled. Yeah. yeah, he's done so much damage. Maybe we should. Uh, make room in Gitmo for his dumb ass. You know what I mean? So how's Build Backwards Better working out? Good for Afghanistan, <laughs> yeah. I guess, the Taliban. Good for the Taliban in China. He built, he built the Taliban back better. Yeah. For damn sure. Yeah. He's uh, opened the door for China to come step right in there. Yeah. Whoever else wants to come on. He gave terrorists their own country. And we have open borders. Yeah, 9-11 is going to be nothing compared to what's coming up in the future. That's what I think. Yeah, we're all in trouble. We're all less safe now that we've got now Biden in there. There are Democrats out there that would still rather have Biden in there, even though we're less safe and inflation is through the roof and gas prices are through the roof. They, they still would rather have Biden because they don't, they don't like Trump because he's orange. Morons! Which is even worse than Bidenitis! So, is it safe to say that it's good or bad to have woke generals? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely terrible. I just yeah. went here. Rob O'Neill suggests we should just bomb the uh, Afghan palace. Yeah. The presidential palace. Just bomb them. Mm. Yeah, we should. But we should wait until we get our people out, man. You know, yeah. the UK is over there. 
and going friends. through, going door to door, getting their people out. I would like and to we're know not. the truth. I would like to know the truth on what's going on out there, but we don't get any answers. Nothing. No, our media is curious. They won't oh, ask the important questions. They've been asking. They've well, been screaming. I don't know. It's too late. They've been walked on all this time. They won't get any respect from them. Yeah. If you're an American and you're stuck over there and your life has been put in danger because of what Joe Biden's done, they uh, they apparently were asking two thousand uh, dollars yes. to get on an airplane, or you lose your citizenship. Wow. If you don't pay it. You think Trump would have done that to American citizens? <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many of those idiots voted for Joe Biden. All of them. <laughs> Suckers. So what made you decide to come back out again? Just seeing everything happening again and just, we've been talking about it for months. Yeah. Like we were here every week for months yeah. and months and months. Yeah. And then whenever we, like we'd say, we really need to go back. I mean, I'm of the mindset, he's still my president. Yeah. He's, and I, I hate the flags that say 2024 because if we don't fix the 2020, the 2024 is going to go to them too. Yeah. So Joe Biden went on vacation uh, at the same time uh, he pulled the military out of Afghanistan. Right. And then uh, he was under pressure to come back to the White House and make some statements. And now he's complaining to his staff that he wants to go back to Delaware because he, he can't sleep. He could take the heat today. Did you see his press conference Yeah, he's today? an imbecile. We got rid of the Taliban. The Taliban don't exist anymore. That's what he said. That's what he said. Yeah. We have no national interest in Afghanistan. Well, when he shortly after uh, he was sworn in, he he told someone that there was no vaccine when he got in there. Right. I know. He is so More. out of it. Yeah. Right here. He is unfit yeah. for office. Yes, he is. So hey, I guess uh, for Democrats. A vaccine passport is necessary, but a voter ID is bad. Yeah, yeah. they should combine it. So they implemented that uh, oh, in New York. You can't go out to eat or do anything without showing your vaccine passport. And apparently um, that's um, keeping a lot of black people from doing things. Yeah, because yeah. the black people, they're the most, um, other than PhDs, are the most hesitant. And I don't blame them. Oh, so regular doctors are hesitant? PhDs, yeah, are the most hesitant vaccine hesitant group. But you talk, want to talk about Jim Crow 2.0? Yeah. That's what they got going in New York right now. Well, they know how the Democrats have always taken advantage of them. Mm -hmm. So they're. Hey, an ID to vote, just to make sure that you're not cheating, that's all. Republicans just want to make sure that you're a citizen. You have an ID proving that you're a citizen. And uh, you, you can only vote once, and you must be alive to vote. That's it. Nothing racist about that. Hey, you could get a hatchet with your vaccine. Hatchet. Did you see the guy hatcheting it at the ATM in Manhattan? What happened there? A white guy was just up at the ATM, and a black guy came up with a hatchet and started whacking him. Oh, a racist black guy? Yeah. Started doing it. Attacking a white dude with a hatchet? At an ATM in Manhattan. Yeah. yeah. But they want to tell you that, hey, it's white rage you got to worry about when every it single is. video you ever see, it's black rage. Yeah. Right? Well, there's They a talked about hate crimes on Chinese people, and every video you saw was of a black dude smashing a brick over an old Chinese lady's head. Well, remember, they let all the people out of the jails and the prisons. Yeah. I mean, so you, there's a mentally ill... Mm -hmm. Psychopaths roaming the streets of these hey, cities. Democrats are ruining this country faster than anybody it's thought possible. What do you think it'll be like five years from now? Well, they're ruining, they're trying to ruin the whole world. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Yeah, they're working on it. I think Biden's doing it on purpose because someone's paying him to do it. Biden don't care about us. He cares about money. So whoever's paying Biden to ruin this place, he's done a great job building backwards better. Probably China's paying them, I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, this is global warming, I think. Yeah, right. right here in Florida, it's like 100 degrees today. It's brutal. What was it, what was it 20 years ago? 100 oh, degrees. Yeah. What was it 100 yeah. years ago? 100 years ago. Do you know, um, I think it was like 100 million years ago, it was like 10 degrees hotter on the planet. So technically, we're, we're enjoying global cooling. Yeah. Think and about a it that of, way. A lot more scientists says it's bullshit. It's just natural. AOC, you piece of... Well, 
So the people that study global warming, they go, they're going to agree 100% with whoever's funding them. I mean, they're afraid of you. You know what I mean? They're afraid of They ain't in it for the truth. They're in it for more money. Yep. And they're in it because people are scared to say anything because of the vocal minority. Come on, wake up. Get out there, wherever you live. Wave flags. Protest. Block streets. Yeah, are you guys tired of uh, what Biden's doing? Prove it. Get out here and wave flags with us. Hey, at least we're visibly in public protesting. You sitting at home complaining on Facebook ain't doing nothing. Let's just get you banned on Facebook. Hey, I've, I've been out of Facebook jail for two weeks now. I know. They think they forgot that I'm out. I thought I was on Facebook jail today. It was just a glitch oh. that I shared. It came on. Some shared a hell of a lot of conservative shit on there. It's called the truth. We need to get. We need to bust up big tech into a million pieces. As long as we have Google and Facebook, we ain't never gonna have a fair anything anymore. Don't make us go. They were, Al -Qaeda. they were lightweights. Do yeah. you think the Taliban and Al Qaeda are getting along and they're gonna be no. one big terrorist happy family? Okay. Hey, when do you think the next 9/11 is gonna happen? Now that we have open borders and uh, we gave these terrorists their own country. You know what they like to blow up? They keep saying it's the Seattle Space Needle. They do? Yeah, well, that'd be something right in the middle of Antifa's area. <laughs> if they did that, you could watch uh, CNN defend them. Yep. They stick up for terrorists, don't they? The lefties? Yeah. Antifa is not, that. They yeah. are terrorists. They're chanting death to America, but they seem like nice guys. And the next day they were pistol whipping her caramel, and then she says, well, they're, they're not so nice. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> that dumbass better get out of there before they start yeah. uh, chopping off I wonder hair. if she's dumb enough to still be there and oh, still yeah. trying to be a reporter over there. Look, they're going to shoot her ass. She looks scared shitless. You know what that means? Get the hell out of there. Yeah. Dude, they, they can't even get 10 or 15,000 Americans out of there. How are they going to get the 70,000 Afghans that helped our military? How? And the 7,000 journalists went down to 2,000. Our country lost all credibility. No one ever will ever trust us again. Not until Trump comes back. It's called Build Backwards Better, guys. That's what Joe Biden does best. Does everything ass backwards. Do you really think this shit would happen if Trump is in office? Shit, no. Hell no. We Trump would never have pulled the military out before the people. He was told to leave 1,200 in there and keep that air base. If you pull the military out, how do you get the people home? Duh. I mean, you know, the, you 1,200 and keeping that Bagram Air Base, which has got enough room to house all these people, yeah. and uh, two massive airstrips, so you can get two planes in and out all the time, not one in a yeah. small-ass airport. When they pulled out of Bagram, most of the generals freaked out. You know, our, one of our woke, dumbass generals said that they're looking into ways to get those people out there without using the military. <laughs> How the fuck are you going to do that? They're going to negotiate. They're gonna give the Taliban a billion dollars, or five billion dollars, or a hundred billion dollars. They're gonna give them money. So, they're gonna give them money so they can pay the civil servants. Yeah. My ass. They don't parent their money. It's our money. You really think the Afghanis give a shit what the West says? No. Come on, people, read your history. Those who forget your history are condemned to repeat it, and it's right here happening. I feel like yeah, is it Boston. But, yeah, well, a little salt of it, but yeah, 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 Boston. So you think that if we don't show our vaccine cards, they won't let us go to Publix and get groceries? That's coming, right? I know that's coming. That's coming for sure. Well, screw you. I'll grow my own food. Yeah, exactly, Yeah, we'll right? just go to Publix and get our groceries because that's... Yeah, at gunpoint. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. You it's have not going to gonna work. They just, they, they frighten us into do stuff like when they said they're going to knock on doors. They don't have... Look, no one's knocked at, on my door yet. They're in chaos. Right. The Democrats are like, it's the man behind the curtain. They right. don't have any power. Hey, is Joe Biden more worried about what's going on in Afghanistan or is he more concerned about how do I get uh, the rest of these Americans to get vaccinated? He just wants to go back to Delaware. He is literally yeah. at the point. He's tired. Yeah. He can't sleep in the White House. He wants impeach, to go back to Delaware. Impeach Biden. Yeah. They talked about Trump being uh, impeached twice. What happened? Yeah, they lied about Trump and uh, tried to impeach him. But yep. Joe Biden's seriously, re in reality, wrecking the whole world. He is. He's wrecking everything. Yeah. He is undoing everything Donald Trump has done. Yeah. He's doing everything. So did you know that if they do use the 25th Amendment or if they impeach Biden, Kamala becomes president? Yeah. And do you know who becomes vice president? Pelosi? No. Whoever Kamala picks. Yeah. Oh, Whoever boy. Kamala picks. She could pick AOC. And That's AOC. what I was about to say. <laughs> could AOC. you imagine that, dude? Could you imagine that? Yeah. Unbelievable. Hey, can you say hi to Massachusetts? They're What's up, Massachusetts? How's it going? 
If, give, uh, give them some encouragement. They need some encouragement. Like he needs, you need encouragement. Now you might be looking at the wrong person. Because right <laughs> I ain't okay. feeling encouraged at all right now. All I am feeling is pissed off. Yeah, I know. I mean, just getting them to stand out yeah. um, and be a part of this. Don't feel. You know, it, it's it's one of those where we have to fight. Yeah. We can't. Don't sit home and do nothing, exactly. man. Exactly. Get out. You there. know what? If you want to do something, join the local GOP. Right. Sign up to, uh, you know, register people to vote Republican. Do something. Yeah. Stand out, wave flags, and protest. Exactly. Do something, man. Yeah. Act like you care about your country. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Or we're going to lose it. Yeah. We're going to lose it. Go to Rumble if you want to do something. Yeah. And follow Paint the Trump. That's right. That's right. And Patriot Roundtable. Because eventually I'm going to get kicked off of YouTube and YouTube Facebook. YouTube and all that. Yeah. You yeah. know why? It's because you're saying the truth. Yeah. They don't They, they, they don't like my opinions. Yep. Yeah, they yeah. don't like your freedom opinion. Freedom of speech doesn't mean anything to those people. Right. But on Rumble, it does. Yes. I have... Yeah. Anybody can create a page and say whatever the hell they want on yeah. Rumble. They're exactly. not getting being censored. Right. So I don't yeah. know why everybody isn't over there already. Yeah. It's important that we get over there because, yeah. you know, we're, we're, I think a lot of things are happening very quickly. Yeah. And we have to, like... Joe Biden's ruining this place faster yes. than anybody thought possible. Oh, yeah. We only got three and a half more years of Biden, guys. I know. <laughs> Can you imagine three and a half years from now how much worse it's going to be? Oh, I know. Yeah. These are these are the good times right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These this are is going to get times. worse. Exactly. Gas will be at $15 a gallon. Yeah, exactly. In three and a half years. Yeah. But Democrats love that shit because they don't have mean tweets. <laughs> <laughs>